ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله There was a tabi'i, very famous tabi'i. His name is Abu Idris al-Khawalani. He said that one time he entered a masjid in Dimashq and he saw people gathered around one person asking him questions and taking his opinion. He asked, who's this man? Everybody is around. They told him, this is Mu'ad ibn Jabal, the famous Sahabi. So he said, I'm... I will come tomorrow or the next day early so I can meet him and introduce myself to him. So he came, he said, I came the next day and I found that he already, Muhad is already there and he was praying. So I waited for him to finish praying and then I came and I said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. He said, Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. So Abu Idris said, Inni uhibbuka fillah. I love you for the sake of Allah. So Mu'ad said, ah, Allah, Billah, and he, by Allah, you love me only for the sake of Allah? He said, ah, Allah, Billah. Ah, Allah, Billah. Three times Mu'ad repeated it. Are you sure you only love me for the sake of Allah? He said, ah, Allah, Billah. So he held him, he said, he held me very close to him and said, Abshir, rejoice. Because I heard Rasulullah Sallallahu say that Allah said حقت محبتي على المتحابين في والمتزاورين في والمتباذلين في سبحان الله He said Abshir rejoice I heard Rasulullah Sallallahu say that Allah Azza wa Jal said in the Hadith Al-Qudsi My love is guaranteed to the people who love one another for my sake who visit one another for my sake and who spend on one another for my sake. My beloved brothers and sisters, I am speechless about the response of the community. Wallahi, I am speechless. I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. I dearly love you. And I beg Allah to gather us with this love under his shade when there's no shade except his shade. You have proven all three of them. The love that you showed, the people who visited my door, at least, and the, brought, the stuff that they brought, the medicine, the food, the cake, the flowers, the, the nonstop 24-hour messages from Dallas, from the states, from all over the world. I am, I am not worthy, wallahi, I am, I am overwhelmed. By, by your response. May Allah keep this love for his sake. May Allah gather us with this love under his shade when there is no shade except his shade. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cure all our sick brothers and sisters. Finally, this COVID is not a joke. <laughs> you know how we take it? Yallah. It's not a joke. The first few days, I always kept on, I'm sorry, I have to tell you that I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I kept on telling you everything is okay because <laughs> I don't want you to worry. It is not, it's, not, it's not easy, especially the first few days. The body aches and the congestion, you do like this, it hurts. Like this, it hurts. Uh, and subhanAllah, I'm sure all the doctors here know what I'm talking about. Please take this issue very, very seriously. Allahumma lak alhamd. I am so grateful to Allah that me and my family, we got it very light very light compared to what we hear about others. But there are other brothers and sisters, just like our sister, the wife of a brother uh, Azhar, and the sister of brother Harun. Subhanallah, they requested me to ask you for dua. She is right now, as we speak, on ventilator. And she's very young, very young sister. May Allah give her shifa, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So please take this issue very seriously. Be as careful as possible. May Allah give us all shifa. May Allah keep us united. Jazakumullah khair again. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu alik.